Hi guys, welcome back to Action New. Today I'm going to review two juggernauts of the watch industry. The F91W and the G-Shock DW5600. So let's get in, right into the video. So first of all, um, disclaimer here, the prices here are totally different. One costs around $20 or cheaper. The other one costs around $80. Okay. Okay, let's start it with the cheapest one, which is the Casio F91W. Okay. As you can see, the watch is very thin. Alright. And this watch is uh, made in China. It's also water resistant and has a stainless steel back. And on the display here, you can see that uh, they got the day, the date, the time, and that's all about it. And when you click this button here, you can actually see the 24-hour indicator. Okay. Then next is the alarm. Let me change the 24-hour first. So if you if not 24 hour is a PM, then you got the alarm, then you got the stopwatch. Okay, you click here to start, stop, okay. and reset at the light indicator. Okay, so that's all for the F91W, and I want to put the light, but you can see the light i'm not so sure it's not it's not so strong yeah it's on the right side but anyway uh things i like about the watch f91w one the design is very nice you can see all the blue on the sides and it's very light and it's very easy to match if let's say i'm going to wear a white shirt like now i just you know put this on or any colored shirt because black goes on black goes with anything that i wear and let's say i to wear my bracelets i just put the watch here yeah very nice to wear and this watch is super light so sometimes i don't realize that i'm wearing a watch because it's so light and the rubber is super soft as well so if you're going to wear this in a like a hot country it's still very comfortable and i've worn this um, jumping from boats in vietnam to the lahan bay and it's okay nothing nothing wrong even though it's just water resistant so that's about this watch now let's go with this watch the dw5600 so a little bit story about this watch i bought this in actually in uh, osaka eh, no, to uh, tokyo i bought this in tokyo in uh, akihabara there is a shop or store called um let me see i forget what's the electronic store it's akiba something but anyway why i want to share with you that is because the watch has a different display than the normal dw5600 this one has a fox fire written here right so just by this you can know that this is from japan this is a, actually a jdm model although it's also made in china <laughs> okay then uh, about this watch it has 200 meters water resistant it's also uh, much much tougher than this one in terms of the toughness of the the rubber base I call it bracelet or what rubber strap rubber strap it's much more tougher la. but it's still comfortable it's still very soft soft but thicker see compared to this one and then uh, i want to share with you on the display is actually uh, exactly the same <laughs> same as in they put the day date right 
Oh, actually you got one thing extra. You got the month. I just realized there's a month there. Seven is uh, July, right? Then 27 is the, the, the date. Yeah. And then you got PM and the, the hours. Uh. Okay. Now this one doesn't... Does it have? I'm not so sure whether it have a 24-hour indicator. Right. Oh yeah, it does. It does. It does. Okay, then next, you got the alarm. Uh, this alarm, you can even set it according to the day and the date. So, maybe set it a date every month. Uh, let's say on the 15th, it will ring. Or you can set it uh, on a specific day and date as well. Then you have a timer. So, this timer you, you don't have in this watch. Okay, this is an extra thing. So, it's a 24-hour timer maximum. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's useful. I'm not so sure. Yeah, I see. 24 hours. Then you just reset it. Oh, yeah. And then... If you realize uh, on the timer, right, on the left hand side, it still shows the time. So some of the modules of the G-Shock, it doesn't show the time, but this one does. So this is one good thing. So while timing something, you can still know the exact time. Then the last one would be the stopwatch. So also with the stopwatch, you also have the time on the left side. Yeah. So the stopwatch is... Uh, actually a better one because this stopwatch goes up to 24 hours this one the stopwatch goes up to one hour only i tried yeah so this one goes up to 24. okay and finally uh one of the main reason i like this is because of the light the light has this electro luminescence light and in japan they call this uh Foxfire. I don't know why. Kitsune. Fire is what? Ka? Kitsune ka? I don't know. But you can see the, the lighting, right? It's quite strong, la, even though now it's uh, still evening. You can still see the, light, the lighting. Okay. So, things I like about this watch. Sorry, Singapore is so small, sometimes you got the military flying jets just right overhead and it's very noisy. Okay, go, go, go away jet. <laughs> uh, National Day is coming soon, that's why they're having these uh, flights around, around the island, the island's so small. Okay, uh, now let's talk about this watch, things I like about it. Uh, one thing it's it's small it's the smallest g-shock other than the baby g version right i'm going to open my skx here first yeah. wrist watch check <laughs> so i can show you so my wrist is super thin but when i wear this watch it looks like that so generally i just see the bezel okay whether this po this portion the watch face is within my wrist so it's still okay lah even though the lugs do pro protrude a bit it's still okay and in terms of g-shock watches this is the only ones that fit my wrist because i have a like a small wrist lah. yeah but anyway i like this watch as well very it's also very light but then i i wouldn't say that i can't feel that i'm wearing a watch because it's, it's huge on the wrist and yeah it's also very versatile it's just that i can't wear a suit with this but i did try to wear a shirt with a cuff with this watch so this watch is more versatile than this one and this one just looks very funny if you imagine you're wearing a i'm wearing a suit i can't even put the shirt cuff but who wears this watch to go to formal events anyway um yeah, that, that's about it, about these two watches. Two very different price points, $80, $20. One is like four times more expensive. This one, yeah, it's cheap, it's light. And 
I think I'm gonna keep this one. But what about you? What is your opinion? <laughs> Do you want to pay four times more for a G-Shock, or would you just rather just get a watch, very light, very much more comfortable, uh, in my opinion, than the other one? So actually, this watch. I like it because of the Foxfire, and you know I love Japan JDM. So, but then I I've been keeping this quite some time in my watch box, and frankly I think that this is the time I am going to give this to somebody else. I'm not so sure. So don't know who's the lucky one. And that's all, guys. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, please click the like button, subscribe to Xen Young to support our channel. And if you like videos like this about watches, because I know you do, um, click subscribe. Cheers.